Everything's half off, including the games. So let's like make a little pile. Figured I'd get a basket. All right, just got some games. Uh, since I had like over 50 games, she just gave them to me for a dollar a piece. They were a dollar 50 because they were half off of three. But uh, yeah, I can't wait to go through these with y'all. Stay tuned. Nothing like a good sausage, egg, and cheese, and some Diet Mountain Dew to celebrate a awesome haul. Stop at Second and Charles to check out the free bin. Let's see what they got. Huckleberry Finn, the Beatles. books. Stop of the day. Let's see what uh, good old Goodwill's got to offer. bad luck with them. I think I'm a pass because I have several. Another collector would probably appreciate it. Excuse me. Oh. It's okay. All right, let's head on home so we can look at all those games I got from the first thrift store.
All right, everybody, I just made it home. I got my 50 games from the thrift store. Came in a Victoria's Secret uh, bag. It's okay, because it's full of games. Um, so let's dig into them. So the first couple I got here are Dark Alliance 2. This is like a $20 game. Sadly, it's missing the manual, but for a dollar, yes please, every day. Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic, like a $15 game. Uh, Elder Scrolls 3 Morrowind uh, Game of the Year Edition. It does include both discs too. Uh, Burnout Revenge. Modern Warfare 2. Fable 3. Grand Theft Auto 3. Tony Hawk's American Wasteland for the 360. Ghost Recon 2. Uh, Heavenly Sword. Sega GT 2002 and also uh, JSRF, so Jet Set Radio. SSX Tricky Fear Grand Theft Auto 4. Let's see, I didn't check this one. Okay, yep, it's in there. Oh, yeah, it did actually. And it does have uh, Call of Duty 4 in there also. So two for one with that one. Um... Red Alert 3, Command & Conquer, Need for Speed Most Wanted, Tom Clancy Triple Pack, um, Ghost Recon, Splinter Cell, and Rainbow Six Vegas, no, Rainbow Six 3, Darksiders, Ghost Recon 2, King Kong, Kill Switch, the limited collector's edition of Fable 2, which also has some really cool, uh, a really cool case I've never seen before, too. So I'll show you all that real quick. And it has the regular disc in it. And the limited edition bonus disc. So that's really cool. Super happy to find this one and add it to the collection. This one's definitely staying in my collection. Left 4 Dead, another one you always have to pick up when you see because it is backwards compatible, so it's a little bit more expensive right now. Um, Prince of Persia, Van Helsling, Goblin Commander. I've never heard of this game before, so I'll have to check this one out. It actually looks really fun. It almost looks like, a, like World of Warcraft or something. But I'm sure you can't play it online, so. Uh, RB, I mean, RLH. I've never even heard of this game either. Enclave. This game company made some shitty games, so I hope this game's not shitty. I'll have to check it out. I don't even know what it's worth. I just figured it was worth a dollar, so. And I'm probably right. Naruto Ultimate Ninja 3. Left 4 Dead 2, another one that's backwards compatible, so you always got to make sure to pick them up. So we done with the first bag. Here is the second bag. We have Halo 3, the limited edition, collector's edition, with the steel book and everything. I just saw this at Pawn Depot the other day, and they had it for like $15. Got it for a dollar today. Has the game disc. The game disc is also a different version than the normal disc. And it includes the uh, different manual and stuff. We also have a little like art book or something. Maybe I'll do a, you know, a video on this. An unboxing video on, uh, you know, limited editions and stuff. Just for like a throwback's sake. Um... So yeah, happy to add this to the collection because I also got the Halo 3 Master Chief Edition uh, Xbox 360. So Halo 3 is like one of my top 10 favorite games of all time. Assassin's Creed. Oblivion. Devil May Cry 3 Special Edition. I wonder what's so special about it. Special Edition features. Play as Virgil, new Jester boss enemy. New very hard mode, new turbo mode, and more. Wow. That's actually kind of cool. A very hard mode. I know I would be terrible at it. Condemned Criminal Origins, a very hidden gem. So if you see these, pick them up. 
Enter the Matrix. Love that holographic case. Need for uh, Speed Pro Street. Let's fix the uh, cover art. All right, there we go. Lost Odyssey. This does include like four discs, which is crazy. Or three discs. Craziness. 99 Knights. This is like um, similar to um, Dynasty Warriors. Metal Gear, Gear Solid 3 Substance. Darkness. Mass Effect. Shadow Hearts. I've never heard of this game. Uh, definitely looks interested. Uh, interesting. I'm wondering about the price on this one. I haven't even looked it up yet. Also, this one. Uh, EverQuest Online Adventures. I don't know if you can still play this or whatever, but... Yeah, I've never even heard of this one or seen it, so I wonder what the value is. Transformers the game. Soul Calibur 4. This is the Xbox version, so you can play as Yoda. In the PS3 version, you can play as Darth Vader. Dead Rising, another one of my top 10 games. Probably one of my top 5 games. This game and Halo 3 made me get an Xbox. So, if you haven't played Dead Rising, you're doing a disservice to yourself. Last but not least for this pickup is Dark Kingdom. So yeah, all these games for all these games right here for $50 is a steal of a deal. Um then I went to visit my buddy Philip and he gave me a 1985 I think 80, 1989 Mario I'm going to get my mom out to fix his little thing and maybe knit him a hat, you know. That'd be awesome. And also from Philip, I got this Mass of the Universe figure. I'm not quite sure this dude's name, but I don't have him. I have like 40 figures, and I didn't have this one, and I've always loved this figure. So super happy. Make sure to go check his Instagram out. That dude with a headband, he's always selling awesome stuff and, you know, giving great deals. So, that dude with the headband, thanks a lot, Philip. And then I stopped at Second and Charles and dug in their free bin a little bit, and I got these old-time Western novels, Montana Deadshot, uh, Kin to the Wild Wind, and Reckoning at Yankee Flat. I, I live in the South, so uh, a lot of people read these, so... I'm sure I'll be able to get at least a dollar a piece for them. I'm trying to find like a general year for them. They're probably at least from the 50s. I can't believe they were in a free bin. Okay, this one's from 68, so not from the 50s, my bad. Uh, 69, and this one's probably the same era. Then I got... Huckleberry Finn from 1955. Some You could tell somebody used this for school because they have some writing in it and stuff. But for free, uh, I'll definitely take Huckleberry Finn. A book about the Beatles. And this really awesome um, outline of history book from 1923 i know these are super collectible because people just like to put them on their shelves and they just look cool because they're old so from 1923 uh i would definitely enjoy this for free thank you second and charles and the last pick of the up of the day was this crash bandicoot figure love this figure i'm gonna do an unboxing on my channel so i'm sure it'll be up before this video goes up so Check it out if you haven't. Well, everybody, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure to tune in for the next game hunting video. It should be coming out soon.